All right, that was my last cuss words. I just had to get them out before. Oh, we recording? Damn, yeah. I really just said that. Yeah, we would. All right, that's crazy. It's All okay. right, let's get this problem. Not my fault. Don't, don't, y'all obese. We ain't, it we be ain't, like that. We ain't nothing to do with that. It be like I Damn. I ain't work at none of the McDonald's. You got to chill. I like McDonald's. I like McDonald's too. I've been try- I've been trying to I've been I've been low key acting like oh I don't eat McDonald's no more, but I still eat that shit. Like, it's what? like I don't like everything. I'm, I I don't like their nuggets. Most people be fiending for their nuggets. Mm. Most people be fiending for their nuggets. I don't really rock with their nuggets. I mm. just be eating the McChicken. Yeah, I, I, but if they don't put no mayonnaise on it, it's trifling. Yeah, for, I don't like mayonnaise. Mayonnaise don't belong. Mayonnaise. So what do you eat? Your, what do you put on your sandwich, bro? I put my hamburger. Yeah. I put ketchup, mustard. And barbecue sauce, no cheese. Or well, I ain't gonna lie, that sound like a dub. But if you mix the mayonnaise with the barbecue sauce, Yo, why do I want that white stuff? <laughs> do you like Chick Fil A sauce? I don't. I don't try them. I never really tried that much. That's a sin, bro. Yeah, Caleb make me try it a lot, but I, don't, I just be like, oh, it's just sauce. That's man. a sin. I don't even eat that shit. Like, I'm a honey. I'm a honey mustard. I like honey barbecue. mustard too. Yeah. That was my favorite sauce until I had Chick Fil A sauce. Mmm. Let me get my shit together. Yeah, pretty much. Wait, where are my keys at? Shoot, I don't know. I hope I didn't leave them in the car. But, but if I do, you want to stay in here and open the door for me. I got you. But, um, oh, they right here. But, yes. All right, we back in here. Another interview. Welcome to the network. Another episode. And today we have. Yes, sir. Hey, 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 guys in the back, calm down, guys in the back, hey. That's crazy. Hey, we have the one and only Mr. Eli Jeff. Thomas, appreciate it, Mr. appreciate Chief, it. Mr. Elijah Thomas, how you doing today? Welcome back to the show. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling very good today. Um, got a nut off before I got here. Okay. I wasn't supposed to get a nut off, though. I'm no. Su- I was supposed no, to. No, you wasn't supposed to get a nut off. Bust a nut until my EP dropped. That's the true story. I, you I were? Was, I'm dead serious. What, why, why do you do that to yourself? It's just an EP, bro. Why do you have to deprive, deprive yourself? It's more like fasting, if you know what I'm saying. Like It's like making sure I'm on my grind mm-hmm. all the way up until the um, EP come out. See, I don't. When, it, when, I, when, I, go in, when I go in album mode, I, that's when I get the most lit. I'm so you be busting out. nuts back to back, getting drunk back I'll be to back, going getting out, high. I'll be outside. Oh nah, shaking, outside. Shaking ass, all that. Like, I be I be going crazy when it's when it's album time. It's celeb- when I sell. I, I think that when I come up with the album, I want to make it out of the celebratory vibe. I understand. I do that. I would. I celebrate after, if you know what I'm saying. I celebrate the whole way through. Oh nah, mm-hmm. it's more like a locked in process. It's like after I drop, it's like. How can I say it? It's like that feeling you get after you ran a mile. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? More like we just did it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Relax. You know what I'm saying? The, it's crazy, though, because the part right after the drop is the hardest part for me because that's when you got to do most of the posting. I do mm-hmm. most of the prep work before, though. Like, everything mm-hmm. that I post after I drop, is probably I probably made it but way before the drop. Okay. Okay, Same. I can tell you one thing. You are gonna have some promo over here. I'm gonna be playing it on stream. Already, yeah, already. Yeah, that's that's how we're gonna start the stream, guys. Already. So don't don't be like, oh, play some Lucky, play some Drake. No, it's 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 Eli time. You listen to Lucky Day? Who don't? I ain't know that, bro. That's my nigga for real. Like that's my nigga for real. He drag make me rap again. He hard. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he definitely go it. I I want. I'm interested in any nigga that, that started off rapping and then skinny and now he just fat. But off of drugs, like wait, I, wait, we, we might not be talking about the same thing. Lucky, lucky day. It's just lucky. L L U C K C L U C L U L U C. I show you the lucky day I'm talking about, nigga. I'm talking about a singer. Oh no, he's a rapper. I'm, he's nigga. just a nigga with dreads from Chicago. Oh. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Oh. Get out of here, I don't nigga. I'm talking about this. Oh, lucky nah. day. I don't like, know who that is, gang. Like, 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 I think you over here getting smooth vibes and all that. No, nah, I want ratchet. Mm. Turn me up. Don't turn me down. Ratchetness. I feel that. It, it's always a time for that. That's when I put on Young Boy though. No, Young Boy is crazy. That's 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 not even. You don't like Young Boy. That's past. I mean, I I, I mean, in, my, in a listening session when I'm listening to music, it's like one and two Young Boy songs. It's not. Where? Uh, yeah, I don't. No, nah, I'm not. I'm not very keep playing Young Boy. Like if you gotta play, if you playing young boy, you gotta water that down with something after. Like you gotta slide. Jill Scott. You gotta you gotta slide after that. You know what I'm saying? Oh wait, pause. Slide. Because I know I shouldn't say that. Oh 
Okay. Yeah, too much young boy is just crazy. Yeah. But we need to talk. We need to get back to. We need to get back to the. Uh, to the task at hand, you here with a message. You here with a, this is a, this is, this is a, this, this nigga doing a promo run with me. You want a promo run? For so, for so, for so, for so, for so, for so. So, what's the name of this, of this EP? So the name of this EP is Hide and Seek. It came, it kind of came all together on its own. When I was making this EP, it wasn't, it wasn't planned. Like, it just came back to back. I'm making songs and they all going together. Like, and they was like, how can I say, explain it? They all was agreeing with each other as far as like the principles that I was like speaking on in the, in the songs and whatnot. And like, it just all came together. And that's when, once I made it up in my mind, like, oh yeah, these songs is going to be like going together. Like I started making the songs in mind of an EP and that's when it all started coming together. But mm-hmm. the, the name came from the, f- so I have an intro on there, and the second song is called Hide and Seek. The name came from, like, how can I say it? The vibe of the EP is basically, like, uh, trying to find yourself, right? Mm. And and how, like, like, like how we go about it and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. It's, and it's... I think you'll like it. I think you personally will like it. It's it's out there though. I mean, I'm I'm act, I'm acting like I haven't heard it before. Oh shoot! Oh shoot! Oh yeah, I did show it to you. Yeah, you played me a little song. Oh yeah, in the crib. Oh yeah, yeah. Song, I, song. Forgot. I forgot. I definitely, I definitely, I definitely was excited when I saw. I definitely, all I saw was the post yeah. of the track list. Okay. And I'm like, oh, we need that. Did you like the little visual I put on there? Oh yeah, definitely. The I thought thing? I thought you was about to drop a movie. I like, <laughs> I'm like, this guy is dropping a movie. The, the production is crazy. I like the promo. Like you, I like how I like how you 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 show me, you make me want to do my promo. Was like back back when I was just dropping. I was just dropping albums a month, right. like not doing anything about it. So you definitely show me like promo. Nah, facts, facts. I tr- I try to make my stuff cinematic as much as I can, even in the music. You're gonna see it. Like I don't think I showed you the the intros and the outro. But it's like it's like I would say it's cinematic, well dramatic, like it's like I'ma always keep my music like entertaining. Like I don't know if you, I always talk about this album bro, when I'm talking music with somebody. But if you ever heard like Kendrick Lamar, Good Kid, Mad City, mm-hmm. how like he took you through a story and you can damn near see it. Like mm-hmm. they could literally make his album into a movie. Yeah, exactly. Like, exactly. Hold on, let me preface this. That is not what my EP is going to be. But this is an EP, not an album. Now when I drop my it's an album. EP. Get ready for that type stuff, this, this, the cinematic. This, so you saying the EP is part of the rollout to the album, or you're saying like, are you saying like? It's separate. It's separate. I ain't gonna. Mm-hmm. I can't speak on the album yet. I can't speak on that. You okay, come I? here now and give no exclusives. Don't don't get no no no. It's not. Okay. It's too early. Don't, don't yeah. Tell I the can't. Stars. We gonna focus on the EP. We gonna focus, focus on, on the EP. EP. So so tell me what what song did you make first off of that? The first song that I made off the EP was the outro. The oh, outro, I made that, the that's outro. Usually, that's usually how it be. That's it's crazy. I didn't, I didn't plan on probably dropping that ever, but it just fits so well with the rest of the project, and I felt like that was what I needed to be. Like the outro serves as almost the credits of my EP, if you feel what I'm saying. I feel what you're saying. Right. Go ahead. But yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's what I made first, real. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's definitely it's definitely often that it's definitely often that your first the first song that you make is the outro. I can say you that to so? myself. Yeah, I do that. That's like captioning me all the time. So. Bro, one of my favorite songs from you, Back in the G. Back in Bro, the G. Bro, I can't even find it no more. Like it's gone. So it's like it's actually called outro. And it's like nah nah <laughs> I'm ready. I'm just drinking because I don't know the words. It's like mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, it's no point in doing this. You're not gonna remember. Nah, 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 nah. Oh. Nah, 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 nah. Something like yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was, it was, it was hard. I remember. I, I can't remember my lyrics either. Yeah, That's I don't crazy. know. I don't know the lyrics. That's what I get for not writing up and down. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how you do that. I only did that on part of one song. Well, oh, oh, I lied. The whole outro is nothing is written down on that. Um. And half of the half of ET mode. Mm-hmm. I remember I showed you that. Oh um, yeah, 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 yeah. Half of ET mode. I didn't write that, but I don't freestyle like that. Yeah, I remember you showed me when you started freestyle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I mean, you're a good freestyler, man. You think so? You just gotta trust yourself, man. You just gotta. You know the real reason I don't freestyle? Why? It's because I don't want to get caught up like long term, rapping the same flows over and over again. Mm -hmm. So like when I'm when I'm writing, it's more calculated. Like I can be like, ah, I did that flow before, and I'll make up a flow mm -hmm. like that I've never heard before, and just start going at it. Or well, even if I if it, even if it's not made up, it's just something that I don't do regularly. I don't like I don't like hearing a uh, repetitive flow. Rep is that a word? Rep repetitive. Repetitive Rep flows. Repetitive. There you go. I said repetitive. It's okay. Repetitive. Yeah, yeah. I, I I know it's definitely that's definitely one task it is to find like different flows. Oh shoot, that's a mother sucker. That definitely is how it is. I definitely more so. I just I don't know. I just I feel like what I do. I just 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 murmur something and. I might murmur it in one song and then I remix and use it totally the same thing, just in different ways. Like, Word. Yeah, that's what I usually do. But um, I want to get back to the EP. What does the EP mean to you? I know you said it means like finding yourself. I mean, do you feel how to, how do you, how does, how does, like. So, me personally, I'll say, I'll say that how the, e the way that this EP affected me personally mm -hmm. was showing it's like the whole EP is a process of growth like coming in from one side like to the other mm -hmm. like it shows like and what I got from it is mostly just being you unapologetically mm -hmm. like I don't it's like and that could mean something different to everybody. That's why I kind of leave it open-ended when I say what I think it's about, because when you hear it, you're gonna get something from it that I didn't even maybe intend for you to get from it, mm -hmm. right? And that's the best thing about it, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's like, that's what I like about like making a track. What I made from it, you might not even get from it, but it's like that applies to you because how your thought process is and who you are and the conditions in which you live, so. Either way, it's going to always bring you back to, like, the growth of you and, and like, just being you unapologetically type time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a like, like, like how you said, that's a funny thing about music. Like, it's either, you're either, you're either, you connect with somebody over this song and y'all feel, and it's like some, and it's something that, that connects y'all, or it's like, you, you just it's just like a good conversation to have that differences they have it's just something about music it's just yeah. a universal language to me oh for sure for sure mm -hmm. for sure speaking of the music so I normally separate the music and like the lyrics right so like I oh for them for those that don't know everything on this EP I have written produced and engineered so oh, of like, course yeah we, yeah we know that we know oh, that yeah. so like when you like, oh my God, it's so tough sometimes when you're making your own beats because sometimes this sound crazy, but I'd be like, damn, I don't want to ruin this beat with my voice. I swear to God, I swear to God, bro. It's like, it's like you don't want to, it feel like, like if you say the wrong thing, you just crucified your own beat. Mm -hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like it's it's just an interesting process. And you make yours from scratchy scratch. Scratchy scratch. From scratch. nothing. Like, I don't, I don't use loops enough in like, that's not to stun on nobody that usually. You stun on me, man. <laughs> nah, <laughs> stun on nobody. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. Um, but like, you know, you know why I don't use loops though? Why? Because I feel like in the long term, it can kind of, it's like almost like training wheels. Like I'm like like how I I never really used training wheels as a kid, right? I just fell off the bike. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's brazy. <laughs> like versus the kid that may use training wheels and it may take them slower to convert over like later type time i mean it's, it depends because some kids might just hop from the training wheels go straight to the joint it's just me personally i i don't really like loops mm -hmm. i mean i mean i just i mean i feel differently because loops it's like it's like i don't know it's just like i i as I, it's like i get the vibe from the music i get what you're saying you know what i mean and when i get it from some when i get it from when i get an outsource you know what I mean? And then it's like it's so many times where I have a melody in my head or something and I would go in there and it would have that on there. I mean, it just depends on how you use yeah, it. Yeah, it depends on how you use it. It just depends does. on how you use it. I, I don't I don't definitely don't see it as like training wheels. I mean I mean I definitely understand how you could it's just like some people don't want to learn how to do that shit. Nah, you know for, what I mean? That's what I'm saying. Like it's easy for a lot of people to uh, put it this way. You can 
loops would allow somebody, not saying you do this, or anybody, but loops can allow you to kind of use it as a crutch if you're not being like 100% creative, if you know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Like if you're not putting your own sauce, if you just grab, put it like this. I don't know how to explain it. So if I grab a loop, because this is very possible. If I grab a loop of like a piano or something like that, right? And then go down, down, whatever it's doing. Then I go grab a loop for some hi-hats. Then I go grab a loop for a kick. And then I go grab a, I don't know, a, a loop for a snare. Mm -hmm. I don't have to touch it no more. Mm. I don't have to do anything, right? Mm. I I might as well have told the AI to go make my beat. Mm -hmm. Now, I doubt that's what that, I doubt that's what you be doing. Is that what you be doing? No. Nah, hell no. Like, that's literally like, Dragon, like I, I can't do that, right? No, it has it has been times where like I would get I would get a I would get a nice I would get a nice melody or something, mm -hmm. and or something, and I just needed to rap on it because I be freestyle. I need to I just need to get the words out, so I put like a drum loop on that just to just to get the beat in, and then afterwards I, I go and back. And do your thing for yeah. real. But that, it just be like how uh, does that process like? What is your you, do you have a specific process? Yeah, not yeah, yeah. Most it's just like it's just like yeah. It's just like sometimes when I make a music, when I make songs, it's just like I, I, when I hear the first three seconds, like I, I just it's just the words it just comes out really. So that's hard. So it's just like it's never really like it's never really like a process. I guess like, um, like I would murmur, I would like like hum hum it. I've, I've seen that for sure. Yeah, but I, it's not really a process. Like it's just like I, I just it's just it's just like I, I don't know. I can't really explain. It. I just I know what to say sometimes. Nigga, that's hard. Yeah. Because sometimes, so me, uh, Matt, matter of fact, I, let me let me uh, do some self promo. Yeah, if y'all want to see my sessions, because I'm about to talk about my sessions. Mm -hmm. Like all of my sessions are different, and they also on YouTube. If you search, you know, what I'm saying YouTube.com/slash recognize Elijah. That's hard. Uh, anyway. All of my sessions be different, bro. Mm -hmm. Something is going to trigger something as long as I keep going. Some idea is going, you know what I'm saying, trip another one into another, almost like a domino effect. Mm -hmm. Like, but it's no specific process. Kind of like, it's like, I don't know. It's just like, whatever happens, happens. Yeah, it's like, so, it's just so many times where like, I might start, I might just, I might, it's so many songs I have where it's just me rapping over a loop. Like, it's just a loop, no drums, just cause I needed to finish it and then, it was, then it's different times where I start with the beat, and then this is just so it's just like I don't know it's just it's just a vibe like I just feel it out like I really, I, mean, I just I just I just that's why I feel like I'm saying I'm, I'm saying I'm just a lot I'm sorry, but I realize uh damn what that like <laughs> but I just I just realize like I understand like kind of like what to do like where to put a verse at where to where to put a bridge what line to say about when to do a catchphrase and it's just like I just perfected how to do it really to my to my personal and it just it's just like a machine type thing that's hard that's hard that's sometimes hard. it works sometimes it don't work no facts facts shoot but talk more about how your sessions are different my sessions are different oh god man they vary. It's shoot. I've watched a few of them, but yeah. I, I don't watch every one. I'll let's just use one of them for example. Like I'll use I'll use the Get Up song. The Get Up song. They haven't heard of it. That, I mean, I mean they've heard of it if they seen my uh, my post, but they don't know anything about what it sounds like. But if you go on the the video and see how I made it, bro, that was a day where the lyrics was just flowing. Wow, I'm writing them like as soon as as soon as I hear the beat, right? The 808 is hitting. Like if you look at it, I'm just writing. I'm just writing, and then I go record it, and it's just like this. Wow. And then you go to a song like, let's go the song called Etod. I ain't mm. show you that one. That's a new one. It's not even gonna make it on the EP. Mm. So uh, that one, oh my God, that was a 12-hour session, bro. Jesus Christ, that was a 12 for one song. Yeah. Like, and I'm telling you, it's, it's taking me hours to write eight bars because I'm like, I'm scratching it out, throwing it away, writing another one, scratching it out, throwing it away, scratching, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Right? And I just wasn't feeling it. And I'm scratching the, the beat out. Like, I, I would do something to the beat and be like, that ain't it, throw it away. Right? And that song took 12 hours and I don't even bang with it all that much. Right? So it's like, each, each session varies. It all like 
that's what I like about it though. Nothing is ever the same. If it was always the same, it wouldn't be like fun. Fun, like you feel what I'm saying? I like I, I always take the good with the bad. Mm-hmm. Like you feel me? So you gotta drink the whole thing at the end of the I day. Swear to God. Yeah. Yeah. So well, I got a couple more questions to ask you about the project. So. Um, in your recording process, did you just did you just release the first seven or five songs, or was it just you you made like twenty of them and you picked some from out? Man, actually, so they were in the recording process of this EP. I started off. There were eight songs. Two of them didn't make it. One of them is called Okay. I actually like that track, but it just. It didn't have anything to do with anything, mm-hmm. so I didn't put it on there. And then the last one I just talked about, ETLD, I didn't think it was polished enough to even deserve to be on anything, so mm-hmm. it's not making a cut. So it was, so it was, what that's that's the seventy five percent, yeah. So seventy five percent of the songs made it for sure. Okay, okay, yeah. I feel that. I feel like that's that's just that's just like a. It's a it's a one thing that I think more people should recognize that like independent artists like us. Like we really, we really are the producer, directors, choreographers. Oh my God! We can nigga. really put that under the our medic. Belt. If anything, I'm everything. It don't even matter. Like whatever it is, we gotta be that. The chef, nigga. Yes. I don't. I, it's so many things. The promoter. We gotta be all that. We gotta be agent, booking. We gotta, the we booking. All that. Yes. That. Anything you can think of, we are that. You know what I'm saying. Hey man, that's why. That's why. That's why, man. It's about. It's about. It's about being a business. Oh, man, sure. or being a business man. Right. We are, we are the business. You know Hold what I'm on, saying? Elaborate on that. You know what I'm saying? It's two different. It's like you can be a businessman, meaning like you're just a regular businessman. you working for somebody and you okay. play your role. Or you can be the business man. Oh, you said it was a play on. Yeah. I figured. It yeah, it's. Right. I'm not a businessman. I'm a business man. I forgot what lyric I was listening to when they said that. Somebody rap that? Yeah, yeah. That's hard. Yeah, I pick up I, a lot. A lot of shit I live by is just straight up lyrics. Where? Yeah, a lot. Of, mostly everything. Like, if I'm if I'm tr- telling telling a lesson or something, I always end up being like, you know what Lil Wayne said? Walking that bitch in the dark with my gun out. Oh, I forgot the. Well, line. you could be like, you know what Future said? Oh, what he say? We don't stop at red lights at light at night, nigga. Oh, what he say? Uh. I sold crack to a pregnant lady. Y'all Please forgive me for the crack, baby. Hey, man, he took responsibility for that shit. Like, ah, like, <laughs> yo, crazy. he brings something positive for that. Hey, hey, oh, you just gotta, you just gotta, like, you just gotta know, like, you just That's gotta. Crazy. As a, as an artist, you like, you can't, like, I listen, I listen to music so differently. Me personally, I feel like I do that. So I really, I really do listen to lyrics, and he, like, I feel like the best way to talk to me is through a song, like, well, I, um. Did you like what you heard on it? Keep it a buck. Like even if you didn't like it, you shoot. You could tell the people. Did you like what you what I showed you off the EP? Keep it a buck. I definitely liked the song where you was where you freestyle. When you showed me when you oh, freestyle, I was yeah. excited to see you freestyle. Yeah, that's yeah. definitely. I definitely. I like that's my favorite song by itself. Word. Uh, was that hot and that wasn't hot and seek? Nah, that was ET mode. You ET. played me hot and seek. Too. I played you hot and seek. Yeah, yeah I, I think I like. That's the one where you was talking about. Um, you was like, yeah, I like talking about my like my problems and what I'm dealing with over eight weeks too. Exactly, nigga. Exactly. Yeah, I definitely, I definitely think those two are, is is just it's gonna it makes the projects itself How before you? before anything else. One hundred percent. That's why I said like when I saw that shit on there, like you doing it the right way, like you doing it the right way. One hundred percent. How do you tell 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 some it's some people okay uh, I don't got I don't have a button for that but it's 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 teacher student time we are he is the teacher oh, for the this is a this is a, a person that that want to be an independent rapper and they just dropped this EP how how do you maximize the people that the eyes on it how do you I'm saying what is your promo you know what I'm saying you don't have to give away the sauce sauce but you can basically you gotta post every day you gotta post like once your song is out you gotta post every day and you gotta be willing to find ways to make money to put into your music. Mm. It's simple. And now, the part that gets, I ain't gonna say complicated, but the part that gets complex is finding the most efficient ways to do said things, Mm. which that comes with trial and error. So you gotta be willing to fail, you gotta be willing to uh, post every day, you gotta be willing to put money into it. It's simple, it's just not easy. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's always simple. It's just not easy. Sometimes you just gotta put your feet in the ground and do it. Mm-hmm. Child in there, point blank period. Mm-hmm. And yeah, especially we don't have we. And that's and that's another thing. Us independent artists, are, we're marketers too. 
Nigga, what? Oh my God. That's what I'm saying. Like, if we really was honest with our resume, nigga, <laughs> we need niggas, that. <laughs> we need a Tyler Perry job, man. That's what I'm saying. Niggas at the top. No, for real. We need the one at the top. We need to be CEO. We don't need to clean no no buckets, man. We got we're qualified. I feel like us independent artists are qualified, like to run business. Like nah, I mean, you are the business. Exactly. Like you said earlier, you are the business. So. You, it's two different types of niggas, man. And people just want that shit ran by other people. Oh hell no. And that's that's what you just gotta you just like you just gotta know when it's you gotta know. One hundred percent. Um. Okay. Well, when is the project dropping? I'm glad you asked. How do we not? mention that this whole time that's crazy <laughs> i just thought about right. it right so the project today is the june 8th good god so the the project drops in eight days the project will be out 12 i'm i'm tripping in 12 damn i'm tripping all right the project will be out june 16th at 12 a.m mm -hmm. eastern standard is that times. a friday that is a friday uh-oh you know what that mean Freaky Friday. Oh, I didn't know. I, just, I wanted to see what you was going to say. That's why I was going to You might have to throw up a listening party on stream for Friday. Yo, that'd be kind of cool. Mm -hmm. That'd be kind of cool. Shoot, what day is it right now? Thursday. Thursday. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. That's crazy. Yeah, I, mean, I just know. I just I don't know what day or nothing. I just know today I'm off. For real? Yes. <laughs> I'm off today. <sighs> um, so we're both. All right, let's, I really want to talk about this. We're both. We're both. We would say we're both rappers that's in relationships. Oh, absolutely. How do you, how do you feel like being in a relationship as a rapper? Well, let's talk. I feel like this is a rare thing that nobody talks about. Nobody talks about it. It's like they keep it in the shadow. Um, it make my life easier. Mm -hmm. So like, so I don't know how other people relationships be, but my girl be there the whole time. Mm -hmm. Right, so my girl is there when the song is like being made. Like, like that's the only person I've ever. You, I told you, I'm nervous when it come to recording, bro. I'm <laughs> ISO and nobody's in the room, bro, except for my girl. And be, before that, I was nervous for my girl to come in the room. So, mm -hmm. like those promo videos that you saw, the one you said that looked like movies and all that, she's the one that's recording those. Oh, right? she is. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, like, I'm writing the script for these videos. We, matter of fact, it it's like we. So I'll come up with the idea, run it past her, and she'll be like, hell yeah. And maybe if you did this too, and I'll be like, oh, hell yeah, right? So we get, we pulling up to the joint. She's she's not a complainer, right? She's helping me get execute this stuff. She's, I'll give you an example. You remember when I dropped Heart Knocks last year on Christmas? Mm -hmm. So it was a mic, I call it a mic vid. I don't know what people call it, but you know when like the mic be hanging? Mic vid. Instead of the mic be hanging, I actually bring my whole, you know, the mic stand with the mic, I bring it all the way outside with me. And I, I went to like a, the woods and my girl, mind you, it's, it's like winter time. Mm -hmm. And in order to do it, she stepped in the water, bro, with Crocs on the recorder. I didn't ask her to do that. And she didn't complain, but she did that. That's crazy, right? So, you know what I'm saying? Hey man, hey man, everybody loves a woman who understands. You know what I'm saying? and push us forward, mm -hmm. right? So I didn't ask her to do any of that, but she always puts like, she she like, like pushes it forward 100%, mm -hmm. right? So she make it easier, bro. There's no mm -hmm. question about that. Mm -hmm. I definitely I definitely was gonna say the same exact thing. It definitely makes it easier. Definitely makes it easier. You don't gotta worry about nothing. Cause you know, she, you, you know that, you know, you, well, you if you got the right girl, she'll, she'll be an assistant. She'll be a cameraman. Cause she know she know she, she anything know. everything. It's only there's not a lot of people like that at all. So um, y'all niggas, y'all rap niggas need to stop. I know I be rapping about fucking bitches. <laughs> I don't care. Word. That's that's that, that's my answer. <laughs> that's what I would say. But y'all niggas. So oh yeah, I got. So how does that work with your girl when you say that and she hear that in a song? She be like, oh that nigga just rapping. I mean yeah, and it's like I'm not lying. Word. I mean, it's not, no, it's not, I'm, it's, it's, yeah, I be cap, I ain't gonna lie, I be capping. Okay. I be capping in my raps. What, what I say in one of my songs, I was, I was say something like, some, it's, I probably said something scrapping, I be capping in my rap. Oh, I definitely said in my song, um, and I got a new side piece, had to hide her out. 
but it just rhymed. It just makes sense. Like, and, and it's like she, she, we like we joke about that type right, of shit. Right. You know what oh, I mean? Oh hell yeah, I joke about that stuff. We joke about that type of shit. She uh, like, she, I mean, I, I, at the end of the day, she, fact, before I left the house, my girl was like, "Yo, don't nut in your side hole." When you like, what she say? She said, uh, "When you go, uh, she said whatever girl house you going to, don't nut in her." And I was like, "I nut in all my hoes." Hey man, yeah, it's, you know we joke about that shit for real though. So I don't, I, we don't. It's never like I never rapped about something like cause I don't, cause I don't do no sneak shit. Like I don't be, I don't, I'm not gonna say sneak, sneak this somebody right. or like and she and she with Am me though. Fall from the mic? No, you're like, perfect, you're perfect. Right, and she and she um and she she understands she understands that this is that this is I'm a I'm an artist being an artist and making entertainment and music. Right. She she know that I'm not a conscious rapper that's trying to get niggas to get that credit right. She know I'm gonna be like fuck up a check, get this money, and all these hoes. Like, would you ever? So if you made an album, would you ever throw a, a, a conscious song on there, like a deep song? Oh hell yeah! I definitely this definitely what I've been making recently has definitely been more rapidy lyrical type of things. Um, it's just, it's just like, it's just like when I go, when I go into vibe, when I go into albums, like I, 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 it's just, I can't even, it's a celebration. So it's like, I just know, I just know I got, I just start, I celebrate, record all the time. Right. I got 30, 20 songs and then, oh, I, then shoot, I sit. Oh, for real? Hold on. What? You, you bust out 30 songs? I mean. For one album? I mean, what? And then what do you chop it down to? Yeah, twelve tracks. Twelve. I mean, it depends. If I, if I then, I, I might do a thing where like I want this to be a single. I want to do a video to this before it come out. Of course, of course. Like a How rollout type thing. So I might pick like three singles, maybe an EP, and then Word. then the album. That's what. That's kind of the vibe I try to do. But facts. I've I've never dropped an album before. You know that. No, you have. I don't. I didn't know that. Yeah, I've never dropped. Act, now I think you haven't dropped an album. Never dropped an album. Yeah, album. Album is a different mode, bro. Album I'm, is a different mode. I, it's because I've been. It might sound like some Naruto stuff. I ain't. I never even really watched Naruto like that. But like, I'm training right now to be like great enough to drop an album that I think is one of the greatest albums that I've ever heard. Mm-hmm. Because that's how I, your first album should sound. You know what I'm saying? Like. I'll give you an example. Not even to compare, but just look at my peers, right? And when I hear, even though these is not these uh, guys' first albums, but when I hear these albums and I hear the greatness of it, like I'm trying to, I don't want to make an album until I feel like it's greatness bleeding out on that, on that, on that, on that record, right? So like when I hear albums like, like the Black Album by Jay Z, mm. right? Nasty work. Hard. That is nasty work. Or when I hear 2014 Forest Hills Job, mm. nasty work. Yo, yeah, that's 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 that is that is that is masterpiece shit. You feel what I'm saying? You can't. I can't. I don't even put my album in the in the room with that. See, see, this. I'm trying to. All right. So, I'm gonna say this, and I'm gonna just say it. I am finna be the greatest artist of all time. Shit. So that's a, that's a hard that's a, that's a, that's, a, that's a pill to swallow. Damn, I wasn't ready for that. <laughs> I'm finna be the greatest artist of all time. Now that doesn't mean I'm finna be the greatest rapper of all time. That doesn't mean I'm finna be the greatest producer of all time. But at the end of the day, when I lay down, what they what they be saying, like lay, take my jersey off, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be one of the goats for sure. Like and I like and I don't compare myself. But what I'm saying is, those the feelings that I got. When I when I listen to 2014 Fears, Four Sales Drive, Good Kid, Mad City, uh, To Pimp a Butterfly, mm. um, anything, anything, uh, what's it called? Magna Carta, mm-hmm. um, uh, for your eyes only. Albums like this. Oh, I'm tripping. Illmatic. Mm. Albums like these. I want people to sense greatness on my album. I'm like so. It's like I'm trying to. And like a boxer does, I'm trying to get in shape for that pay per view fight. Mm-hmm. If you know what I'm saying, like I'm trying to go crazy. And you know, and you know, honestly, when when, when I remember when I remember when I went was I was getting my first album together. It was 2018, and it was like it was like it's a decision when like it was like it was a, it's a even though now that I look back on it, Ooh, it was chill. even though now I look back on it, it was it was just a mediocre album I dropped my what first album. album. My first album. What is it called? It's called Keep Watching Over Me. It was like in 2018. Nigga, with Mama on the cover. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember, I, was, I remember, I remember the day it was about to come out, and I was fucking this fat girl. Oh Jesus! 
I'm sorry. <laughs> no, you're good. You're and, good. And we was, and we was just, we was just up late. Like we was just up late. I was just listening to that shit. Like yeah, I was just telling her, like telling her, and telling her, like I, I don't know. She was just some girl. Like right. I was just telling her the dream type of shit. And that shit just motivated me so hard. And I, I just knew it would never be the same. But that's not what I was talking about. But I feel like as a, as independent artists as we are, when like you said, when you feel like you're getting ready to do something. It's like the, you gonna be the only person that tell you that you ready type shit. Oh yeah. But it's like when you when you make that decision, it's a whole it's a beast. Like you, you turn into a beast. Like it's a whole different mode. Like you see shit totally different. You know what I'm saying? So I know. Was Get Well Blase an album or was that an EP? I, I think I, no, that was an EP. That was okay. EP. Cause I'm you know my jump was on there. You know what's on that? Ashburn Part 2, shorty. I put that on SoundCloud now. For real? Yeah, I think I put it on SoundCloud. I bought it, so I have access to it on iTunes. Oh, you still have it? Like, I bought it. I paid oh, my money. Wow, yeah. that's hard. That's, I paid my money. Damn, I tried I, to make it my ringtone. I need to buy it your ASAP. Um, is this shit on pre-order? What? The album. Uh, it'll EP. be on pre-order on this Friday. All right, cool. We, we, okay, cool. Tomorrow. We, we, I'm chilling. Tomorrow. All right, cool. Go pre-order that shit. This this gonna this gonna be up Friday tomorrow. So. Oh yeah, so yeah. By the time they see this, it'll by be the time pre-order. you see this, I got my pre order. You should have your pre order, and everything gonna be in the description to pre order. One hundred percent. Yes, sir. Um, yeah, that 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 I don't know. It's just like I got to a point. All that old music, those were gems, and I love those. I love those songs. I still listen to them every now and then. It's just like. I, I didn't feel like they were mine because like I was I was always I was taking a beat from something you know what I mean I feel that back uh, then you was a YouTube gangster yeah yeah I was a, I was a YouTube gangster yeah. on that on that first EP boy I had to take it down I didn't know how rights worked exactly I took all that shit down I was a YouTube gangster for show sure, boy I took I'm all of it down what I was like, what I was Jack I felt I felt like I felt, I felt like I shouldn't release none of that stuff honestly I felt like I should never release none of that stuff um. What is the album called? Um, Long Live Shy Chrissy. Mm. Where did you get all them beats from? Because I feel it's a lot of old samples. I've been praying for them better days. I've been praying. Yeah, been it was definitely. Those are all. Those are all YouTube beats. Right. Word. Yeah, those are all YouTube. I was just. I was just really good at finding what I wanted. Word. I had perfected the YouTube search. Okay. Yeah, you <laughs> had to have because it was. If you re- if you listen to the junk because I be listening I, when when you come on to my car I don't skip it. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Thanks, but, bro. But, um, That's crazy. So when I was when you listen to uh, uh, Long Live Shy Chrissy, all of the beats line up. That's why I asked. I did, I wasn't sure where you got them from. If you had a plug or something like that. No, I just I just was I just was really good at finding what I was good at searching on YouTube, and I just knew the sound that I wanted to. I'm trying to think of another album that you. You man, uh, you got broken beautiful missing. girls. Oh, that is that was, what it's called? Or it's called Beautiful Broken? Yeah, that was with the label. That was with the label. Word. Yeah, that was my first. That was that was technically my debut album because it was like it was on the label and it was on the magazines and shit. That's Not magazines, hard, but it was on like blogs and shit. Mm. Yeah, but that was that was with the label, so I can't delete that. That's still they got all them YouTube beats. Mm. <laughs> yes, I can't. I, I tried to. I can't. I gotta hit them up and then I gotta go to a certain I, person and it's like I'm trying to think of something off Broken Beautiful Girls. Exactly. That's that's um, why I wasn't not that good. Shoot, nah, I could think of something. It wasn't, it wasn't hit. I was just, I was trying to get that money. Unexpected blessings. Oh no, that was hard. That was a gem. I had like three, two gems on there. That I was probably, hard. I probably know you. I probably, I probably, if if niggas quiz me on Blase music, you, I probably win. You're the number one fan. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure. I'm, I'm, I don't know, bro. But I, bro, you might gotta, you might gotta drop that. Uh, like re- somehow redrop that that real nigga job, the one with the eight oh eight. I never sent it to you. You don't remember when I bro? You oh, came to the oh, crib oh, 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 and you oh, you don't oh. remember? Yeah, I remember. I remember. That job was hard. Hey man, I like, like that's what that's one thing I did when I took down hella my music. I think I put it up on like Spin Rilla or something. Like I put hella old. For real? Like, I don't even have access to that. Yeah, when I when I when I stopped when I deleted all my old music and stuff, I I made like a big a long ass mixtape of like gems like oh, wow. songs. Of the beats and I put it up with Spamilla, yeah. That is crazy. It's called uh I don't even remember. That's crazy. It's <laughs> I do, you, I, do you remember recording cheese? No. Was that lit? I don't know, it was me, you and like one other person. Is it a girl? Uh no. It's a dude, a sausage party. We was in your room. <laughs> we was in your room. Like and I don't 
All I, I forgot how the hook go, but that might be on Long Live Short. All I want is cheese. All I want is cheese. cheese. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if you remember this, but I'm gonna need my check because uh, when you were <laughs> <laughs> when you recorded it, right? I was like, yo, you got you got name it cheese and spell it wrong. And I swear to God, you spelled it wrong. I was so surprised. You spelled that drunk like C H E S S E. Swear to God. I got you, Devin. I got that. I got that right. I got the plaque coming in. Yeah, bro. You know the nigga who made that beat? Mm-hmm. He's in jail for murder now. Wow. <laughs> that is unfortunate. <laughs> that is unfortunate. That was my nigga, man. Ooh. Oh, that. Oh, so that was the guy you was um getting your beats from back in the G. Yeah, we cause I. Um, I, I I linked up with him. And he was just like a producer, and like, okay. and he was, and I guess like he was like my manager too, cause like he would book me studio sessions. Like we would do hella, like we would, we would just hella close. Like we would just, you just get like we. I took my first, I took my first perk with him. Mm. So we and him was hella close, and we just was just. Sound like a good guy. Yeah, he's a good guy. I really, I love him dearly. Why are you playing my man? <laughs> it's not like a good guy. I'm just saying. Probably your buddy. first perk with him, bro. I found my first perk with him. <laughs> I was on perks for a summer. No, you. Oh, you was when you hurt yourself. <laughs> yeah, when I when I when I hurt my uh, leg. I say that just to sound like 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 I'm not even like that though. Mm-hmm. Nigga, I was like that. Mm. I was I was I was. Uh, uh, that's you got, I was did you get any bad side effects? People be getting the itches. No, that's no, more that's like, that's that's some other. Shit. No, no I mean, most so if you if you, if you take too much perk, then you might get the itches. But I never took too much perk. Mm. But most I have like when you like just like that's one thing with purse. It's like a it's like a strong like uh ibuprofen. Right. So you just find yourself like clenching your jaw like this. For real? That's why I don't you know the, the Kodak song jaw, jaw lock my jaw keep locking. Okay. He was talking about how his jaws be locking from perks like. Is that why a nigga look like that all the time? I don't know. If He's he like t- this. <laughs> yeah, like he, everywhere. Yeah, your 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 your, uh, your hands be sweating, your fingertips Bruh. get numb. Jesus Christ. <laughs> and you be clenching like you just be like. Mmm. Chew the hell out your food, huh? Nigga, yeah. I'm telling you. Jesus. You just you just feel strong and shit. I used to play. I used to take a perk and play basketball, and really used to be in a hole like. <laughs> you have a you have a mess with the lean. Oh yeah, I'm scared definitely. Of lean, yo, I'm so scared of lean. Niggas take one sip and can't give it. Like, Let me tell you how I got hooked on lean. Go ahead. I was I was I was it was I was in middle school, bro. Okay. It was this girl I was cool with in middle school. Mm. Go ahead, keep telling the story. I think you told me before. Yeah, I, I was I was cool with this girl. It was in middle school. I was cool with this girl in middle school, and she was. I was like, yeah, I'm trying for. I don't know why I was just on the phone with her, just telling about. Like, yeah, I'm trying to get some lean or something. She was like, yeah, my grandmother got a prescription for it. That's crazy. And she don't drink it. I was, you know, bro. I hung up the phone and I, I rode. I rode my bike. Oh, gee, this is before the Prius. This is before the Prius. I rode my bike all the way to her house. Jesus. And that's like it was definitely like don't you know? It's definitely like a solid. I was biking. Well, I, <laughs> was I was biking, nigga. Been a whole triathlon. Yo, it was definitely a. It was bad. It was definitely like at least like four or five. Like it was, it was, it was a, it was a long. Up here time. on everything. All that. Yeah, and I, I remember. I was, and since then, I don't know. Nigga, I remember my first time smoking. You make me seem like a this. All right, this is a bad influence. Let me go back. To <laughs> I wanted life. to see if you remember that. <laughs> you make me feel like a bad influence. My first time smoking. Nah, no. You know why? You're not a bad influence. You know why? Why? Because when we was in that Prius, you know what you said to me? But while you smoked, but like it would be me, you, Sean, and Daniel, right? Mm-hmm. And you would be like, bro, you don't, you definitely don't got to do this. If you want to do this, here. But like, you don't have to smoke, like, at all. And probably like for like weeks, I didn't smoke. Mm-hmm. And then one day, I was just like, hand me that joint, bro. <laughs> yeah, we was chilling hard. We was chilling hard bro, as fuck. Freestyle in there, something serious, nigga. I need them mixtapes. Them ciphers OD. Just put up. If somebody would have just stuck a you know mic in the car, it would be rich and famous. OD, like talking about. bro. But uh, those are the good days. He was chilling hard as hell, not doing shit. No job, no nothing. No just, nothing. Just, just, 10th grade, just thugging. Three hot dogs. Three, four. Four hot dogs. That's that's all we had today. <laughs> four each. We each had four hot, hot dogs. Hot dogs, that's it, bro. <laughs> God damn! What would you give to get those back, huh? I would. I wouldn't go back, but I would definitely want to look. Like if you know what I'm saying, like be able to go back in time and look at us like fooling around, type time. Yeah. And maybe spook, spook y'all. Be like, I, like I walk past and be like, that nigga look smack like Tom. I would be like, mm, he look good. <laughs> yo tripping, yo tripping, yo is tripping. Like no, but yeah, that was a fun time. <laughs> that was a fun time. That was like. 
Cause like when I right when right when I when we was chilling together like a lot, I was I would say I was getting over like a lot of like mental shit like type oh, shit. Yeah, oh, yeah. And y'all were the people that the, the close friends that I needed type shit at that time like really an important time. I so, ain't know that at the time. I mean yeah I mean I didn't want to. I of feel like that would nobody finna really be like I'm going through it. Now. Exactly that would have <laughs> killed the vibe. But y'all definitely y'all definitely helped me out a lot. Y'all definitely made me cherish cherish a lot of, a lot more. Like, That's tough, bro. Just from that alone. And That's tough. I mean I I don't. You never, I never told you that anything? Yeah, at the time, I, bro, you, when I was, when we, so if I was 15, you and Sean was 16, Dang was 17. Mm. So, nigga, I, I was just trying to be down with gang. I thought y'all niggas was the coolest, right? <laughs> you feel me? Y'all niggas was the coolest. We were I was, just out late, just smoking, not doing nothing. It's really crazy, because we really all, like, now we old. We all the same age. Like, yeah. back then, nigga, that, that one or two years was. That meant something. That mean, like, you a little <laughs> nigga. Right. You need like, to sit down. Right, nigga. <laughs> I thought, like, yo, matter of fact, I used to, bro, when I was little, I used to think you were so much cooler than me <laughs> that my family loved you more than me. <laughs> swear to God. <laughs> swear to God. I swear to God. When I was real little, I no. went in the house at the cookout, like, leaving your crib, and I asked my sister, I said, do you like Chris more than me? Hey, yo, why I, would you say that? I don't know, bro. I was, I, that's how, like, bro, that's how impressionable I was back then. What, what did I do? What, I, what You should have been cool, nigga. You know how it is when you got a big cousin and it's just cool as hell. I never, I never, I always was the younger person. I never thought that nobody else would see yeah, me like that. That's, that's, that's exactly what was going on in my head at the time. Oh, hell no. I'm yeah. bad influenced. Nigga, I swear to God. I was like, damn, that nigga cool. God damn, man. I'm sorry. I was wasting your time on it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo. Shit, hey, man. But um, anything, any, did we skip anything about the album? We, we, this is supposed no. to be a promo. This no, it be- is. We just talked. I mean, we talked a lot about it. Like, we could just, we could talk. Like, I don't, it's all good. We still going to talk. But you don't got nothing planned today? No, we good. Jeez. Yeah, we about to, I'm about to go live. Word? No, I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not going to go live. I'm not prepared to go live at all, but um, yeah, definitely. Those are definitely fun times. Definitely rejoiceful times. Hell me. yeah! I mean, yeah, it was definitely cherished. Like you cherish those moments. 100%. Hell yeah. Um, if you go back, talk to yourself in that specific time period. What you say? We 15. I'm 15. Y'all 16. Type time. I think you playing? You playing at Pikes? I'm playing at Kenwood at the time. And I would have told myself to keep them grades up yeah. <laughs> and stay on the team. Right. <laughs> yes, that's what I would have told myself. I thought, was that around the time, was you falling out of love with basketball or something? Or what no, was I always loved basketball. I just, the reason why I could never play, like, because in high school and stuff was because I would play, I would get all the playing time and all that, and then I, my the report cards come in, <laughs> and then yeah, I would get kicked off. I love type time. Yeah, no, I, 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 I love basketball now. I, I love basketball. I never fell in love with it. I, I always say that basketball is my first love. It mm-hmm. always has a special place in my heart, bro. Yeah. Like, it ain't nothing. Like, I love the music more than basketball. But if you told me I can never play basketball, like, I can never go to the park again and just feel the ball spin off my finger, it would be sad. Mm-hmm. If you told me I could never make a song again, I might kill you. But, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, okay. Nah, I'm just saying, like, bro, like, it's just a difference, like, but yeah. Do you, um, let me see. Shoot, do I have any questions for you, Mr. Interviewer Man? Uh, what did you think about the network so far? I, nigga, you know I rock with the network. I like mm-hmm. every single video on Instagram. <laughs> I be on, Inst- I mean, I be on YouTube comment, and you know me, bro. You know me. Hell I'm yeah. always going to show love. Yeah, man. I'm always yeah. going to show love. But shoot, what what do you see? And if you don't, and if you don't have an answer, you ain't got an answer. But what do you see? Um. All right. So for those that don't know, Chris was there when I recorded my first song, Gabba Call Event. Right? Mm, mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I was there. So Chris was the nigga that was, like, he would, he would record me and all that. He ain't even charged me type time. Shout out to him. That's a, you know what I'm saying? That's a real nigga move. Now I need that money back. Yeah, you might. I might, <laughs> you might have to talk after this. Um, <laughs> but uh, what is the biggest difference you see between that time period when we was recording, like, Vent, Distance, Gone, DMs, No Stress, all that? What's the biggest difference between... That time period, as you looked at me as an artist, 
and like today. Shit. I wish I would have. I, I wish you was. I wish I, I wish you was a stock. I would have invested in you back Nigga, then. Nigga, for real. Yeah, I should, oh yeah. I wish I would have <laughs> invested in you or some shit, man. You did technically though. How? All of that was an investment. Nigga, I wouldn't have got here. Oh, I guess you're right. Nigga, like literally, if I if you if you didn't let me re- mind you, I didn't come to your house to record or nothing like that. Mm. I came to your house because niggas used to come to your house, right? And I was like, yo, let me record a song. <laughs> and I went on YouTube. And mind you, we stayed up till 3 a.m. that night finishing we was, this song. We was vamps. Oof. We were original vamps. Uh-oh, nigga. <laughs> and, 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 we, and yeah, that's how it all started. That night doesn't happen. I don't know. I'm not going to say I wouldn't have started music because God has a way of working. Mm-hmm. But I don't know how else it would have happened. Put mm-hmm. it that way. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Like, shoot, without the music, actually, I probably would have. Um, you know, I, I had offers to play football. Yeah, I remember you told me. So. Everybody, everybody, it don't sound smart unless you had the, the mindset and the dream that I had. Nigga, I ain't go to college. It's not like my grades was bad. My grades was good. I graduated with a 3.0. I was jealous of you. <laughs> my, nigga, I barely graduated. <laughs> so, I I had opportunities to go play football in college, and damn near don't got to pay nothing to go to college just to, you know what I'm saying, smash off on white girls and catch a football. You feel me? So... But I chose literally. I, I walked in. I walked into my parents' room, and I said, "Yo, what if I ain't go to college? And what if I just did this music stuff?" Mm-hmm. And they was like, "Well, we support you. And that's all I needed, bro." I like, and I, I really like give my parents props because a lot of parents have been like, "Nigga, sit your dumb ass down. You better and, go run it <laughs> You better you better go put them shoulder pads on, nigga." Like you feel me, and like, and they they looking for your best interest and, and whatnot. So it's no malice, no you feel me, nothing like that. But my parents was mad to this day, mad supportive of what I'm doing. Right? They listen to my music. My mother like all my videos. You <laughs> feel me? She comment on every post. Hell, I mean, I blocked my mother. Word. I think she found out how to unblock me. <laughs> and I she I, like I be seeing her like low key. Hey, yo. No, your mother never was a supporter for sure. Back in the G, she used to. You remember sixty four bars? Uh huh. I was gonna say if you don't remember, I don't know how I remember. Yeah, I remember. But you that. performed it at your school, and she. I remember being over your house while she was on the phone with her coworker bragging. <laughs> I, I remember everything, bro. I don't remember none of that shit. <laughs> That's like I like if you need a nigga to remember something, I'm the guy. I'm like, has to just keep. I'm just gonna like if anything happens, I'm just gonna pay you to remember I'm stuff. I'm gonna remember it, bro. I'm telling you, I remember everything. Bro. You don't gotta do nothing but be like, oh yeah, that was 2016. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, man. Uh, we we came we came from we 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 are, we are perfect we are prof, we are perfect product of good parenting. I feel that. I think so. Ah, hell yeah, I feel that 100%, nigga. Oh yeah. Parents prepared me to be who I am and who I'm finna be, mm-hmm. relatively. Because I kind of don't like when people say I'm finna be something because you have to be that now. Mm-hmm. And the, the world will morph around you what it's supposed to be because you are that now. That's you know fact. what I'm saying? So I don't really, when people be like, oh, he want to be an artist, nigga, suck my dick. <laughs> what do you think I'm doing right now? I don't want to be nothing. I am. Me. I am an artist. Like, I don't want to be a rapper. I, I am. A I, rapper. Like nigga, I rap. Like that is what I do. Whip it, flip it, get it. Like nigga, that's me. Like what are we talking about? Exactly. Rap? So that's the. You could clip that. That was hard. What I just said. Anyway, um, but that's a quote. Like you, you can't want to be something. You have to be it, and the world will morph around you. Mm-hmm. And then until others start to look at you as what you already was. So, but my, what I, the paradox is, you can't care about what them niggas think about it anyway, though. That's poison. You know what I'm saying? Like, because you can't control that at all, mm-hmm. bro. I swear to God. You can't control mm-hmm. that at all. That's, that's a lot about, that's a lot of what I wrote about in some certain songs on the EP as well, to bring it back to the EP, bro. Hell yeah. Yeah, bro. Fuck, fuck, fuck a real. I'm sorry. <laughs> three back, three, three back to back f bones. When I be with you, I be realizing how much I be cussing. Sure. Cussing, yes. Why you say that? I don't know. It just it's because you don't cuss in your lyrics, and I and I used to do that. Word. And it's just like it just got to this threshold, and I was just like, f it. Like, I don't. So, want... was it like a specific day where you was like, 
I'm I'm finna say what I want to say. Or was it like gradual? No, I mean, it was definitely one of them days when I was home by myself and I had to worry about screaming too loud. So I definitely was just like, like yeah. Just let that out. And I was like, I'm I'm damn near about to be 20 years old talking about something I don't want to cuss. Word. So I ain't gonna lie. I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't not cuss in my music, but I don't cuss in my, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm a, I don't say like, I'm going for a guilt bitch, nigga, suck my fucking dick. You feel mm -hmm. me? I'm not going to say nothing like that, but yeah, like. No, exactly, exactly. You know I mean, what I'm saying? Yeah. But like, I, I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm going to say like. You got to throw a nigga in there. Oh, I'm saying nigga, I'm saying hell, I'm saying damn, I, I might say I'm on your ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like. It's my, just you can mature, mature. Yo, my brother got a funny joke. He say I say all of the Medea cuss words. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, your curse words are definitely TV like, friendly. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, you feel me? Like, I'm hella hot. Damn, it's hot. My ass is hot. And that's pretty much as far as I'm going to go. Um, plus, I used to cuss too much, bro. I had to slow it down. Like, if, if every, if every, like, literally, bro, when I was coming out of high school, Nigga, everything I said was that fun. Like, that was my favorite word, and I'm calling niggas B-words left and right. Like, Me too. You know what I'm saying? Still like, is. <laughs> still is. Like, that was, that was all I was doing, bro. So I tried to, and plus it helped me strengthen my vocabulary. Mm -hmm. So now I say words like plethora and ambiguous. Ambiguous. <laughs> yeah, bro, I do the same. I, 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 I hope to do I'm not going to say I, because I still curse like a sailor, just like on some regular shit. Nah, for real. And there's no, I don't. I have a, I just I just I just feel like I have a flamboyant personality. Like I'm I'm very a out there guy. Cussing do make stuff funny or something. Exactly. Though. It really do. Like if I say nigga is hot and then you say nigga is hot as a like it's just funnier when exactly. you say it. You know what I'm saying? Exactly, but you just I'm just a flamboyant person. My bad. Did I stop on your shoes? Yeah, no, I'm good. I got on. You see these crusty ass? I'm joint fresh, sure. You, you see the crust in the bottom where my toe be at? Jesus ass. Christ. Hey, bro, I don't know why you bought them, though. These, I mean, I don't, yo, they, they were $10. I'm not even roast. I know, bro. I would have never bought them. Bro. They would, I, I don't like them either, but they're $10. <laughs> I don't care. Nothing about no $10. Yo, so I know about your space. Do you get to keep it here or do you have to, like, pack up? Um, specifically, specifically yesterday I kept it here, right. but some most of the time I put it back because my father is just, 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 I remember one time I left something plugged up and this nigga like unplugged it, wrapped the cord up. He's like, yeah, that's a fire hazard. Yo, um, only his be on some, bro, I swear yo. to God, bro, like what does that, how? Yo, what literally. What are we talking about, that's, that bro? Literally, that literally Old happened. heads be on some whole other type time, bro. And I'm not even stunting on the old heads. I'm stunting on them. Every parent got the thing that they say that don't make no physical sense. Yeah. So like, ever since that, ever since he said that to me, I was just like, all right, let me just put he, it, put it back. He unplugged your joint and said, "This a fire head." No, no, it was a, it was the cord that's tangled up right here under here. He, I had that plugged up, and I was using these, and he and and like he unplugged it and wrapped it up and said it was a fire head. What you say? I, bro, I, was I mean, like, you gotta okay. keep it respectful because he's like, OG. Right. But I don't like, even. I'm, a, I'm at this point with dealing with our parents for so long. Like, what, what, what am I? What if I'm gonna go back and forth with for just to end up in the same boat? So I just be like, okay, like, I don't even say anything against my parents. I just agree oh, and nah, be like, nah. yes. I don't. I'm blessed to not even have to deal with them. Oh no, I love my parents. That's because you moved out. I, I love my parents, but like, like they don't have any say in what I do. It's because right? you moved out. Yeah. Yes, God. Right. They got everything saying on there. I be about to leave my mom and be like, where he go? <laughs> I be like, oh. Like my side bitch, man. I love your mom, though. I love your mom. She hella cool. She like my favorite, my favorite great aunt. She got to be somebody's favorite. She ain't mine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm playing. I think it's like she not even my favorite mama. I'm joking. I'm joking. And Uncle Edgar got to be the coolest nigga in the world, bro. I don't care what nobody say, bro. Whatever. I don't know. They just, they just, they my parents. I don't see none of that. Word. <laughs> I don't cool. see none of that. So what do you think about my peoples then? You have good parents. Oh, I know. They're, 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 they're great. Yeah, yeah. I definitely, I, I look at your parents and be like, I want, I want, I want, a, I want a wife. I want to get married. I want to have a family. Like, that's how I look at y'all, like, y'all family. Word. I want to have a Yo, family. Yo, I swear to God, me and my family, you know how, like, every family weird? I feel like I got the most normal family. Exactly. Like we like and our last name is Brown type time. Like we like we real live meet the Browns. In real life, y'all really like, are. Like for real. It's craziness, bro. Um, anything else? We've been in here for an hour. You, you it don't even feel like it. 
That's, that's how it is when we chop it up. It's, this is a real conversation we have, and this is not this is not nothing else. This is a real dude, conversation. Man. And actually, this interview is going to be two hundred dollars. Thank you, two hundred dollars. You got Apple Pay? No, I only take hard cold cash. <laughs> what if I had the chip? No, would that be crazy? I'd be like, they could give it back, bro. Give it back. Um, but this has been another interview, another interview, another banger. One hundred percent. To when go go pre order the EP right now. One hundred percent. Hide and seek by Elijah Thomas, out June sixteenth at twelve a.m. Eastern t- Standard Time. I promise that this will be an EP that you have never heard before, an EP that you will never hear again. Um, it'll positively impact you. It'll have your head knocking. It's whatever you want it to be for you. And shoot, go check it out, man. This is the Blasi Network, and we do approve this message. All right. Um, see you next time. Bye, guys. Appreciate y'all. Goodbye. Oh, wait. Play the song. Oh, shoot. Definitely got to give him a taste. <laughs> I, I think I'm a, should I play mm. Yo, this is very hard deciding what I'm finna play, but play it nigga. Play what? Play it. Play it. Alright, if you copyright my song, I'm gonna beat you up. Alright, here we go. I mean if you copyright my video, I'm gonna beat you up. In real life. Alright, 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 alright. I'm gonna play the one you like just be this is your podcast. That's exclusive, me. exclusive, exclusive. Should I turn it all the way up on my phone? Yeah, turn it all the way up. There we go. I like this one. I like this one. Yeah. 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 If I said it, I meant it. Yeah. Two times and I might go crazy. I ain't got time to be watching the way and watching the clock. Ain't stopped on the daily. Three times, might gotta fade me. Four times, clock on safety. Five times, might gotta spray me. Six times, shh. I'm in that mode now, nothing to hold down. Wish I could slow down, way too close. Then you getting froze out. I don't need your company, nothing. That's all I can show them for now. Bro. Wow. The rest is gonna be on the EP, bro. That's all I can show This nigga, we ain't even get the whole. I know, I know, I know. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. I gotta leave some area of wonder. No. You have to, bro. You have to. You have to. You have to. But if y'all like what y'all heard, it's going to be everywhere, bro. Follow me on Instagram at Recognize Elijah. If you don't know how to spell recognize, ask Siri how to spell recognize, but I spell it right now. Hopefully, I don't spell it wrong. R E C O G N I Z E. Elijah is spelled E L I J A H. Nigga, it is 2023. It is in the description. I swear to God. It's, it's, it's 2023. In, it's in the description. Like, real life. Real life. Real life. So, As a matter of fact, if they want to subscribe to my YouTube channel, it's the same at. Oh, no, I'm not playing YouTube, though. It's like, I'm playing. <laughs> well, I, I literally popped up. If you scroll long enough on my YouTube, you'll literally see it because I posted it on my shit. You know what I'm saying? That video we did. Oh, facts, 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 facts. Yeah, so um, be on the lookout. Pre order that shit right the Pre-order fuck now. It, bro. It's already, you know what I'm saying? We out. <laughs>